Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, hey, my name is Monique, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I heard a lot of uh, good reviews on it, so I went ahead and picked it up just to give it a try, see what is up. Um, I already have some moisturizer and uh, actually I don't have primer. Let's go ahead and prime my face right now. But apparently this foundation is supposed to be really good. The Wet n Wild uh, has changed up their formula and is now so much different than before. Um, it does say that it it says goodbye photo flashback so I'm assuming you don't look white when um, you take a picture or anything like that so let's go ahead and give this bad boy a whirl and you can see for yourself okay so first thing I'm gonna put my hair back um, that should be good let me take these off I don't know why I insist on putting them on if I end up taking them off. So, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. When you open this, there's a little spatula. So I guess you can either use it, kind of scoop up the foundation, or you can probably dab this onto your beauty blender, brush, whatever you want to use. Alright, so let's go ahead and put that on there. Now I'm just going to put it all over my face. And then we'll get started. I hope I didn't put too much. So I've been obsessing over this brush by Morphe. And it is Morphe G36. I've already let you guys know. Can you see that? Oop. Okay. I've been obsessing over it and it is from the Gunmetal Collection. So if you guys want to take a look, go ahead. Prices are great off their website. So from the looks of it, you can, it does go on very evenly. It doesn't look too cakey or... dryer it just looks very good and I have dry somewhat of dry skin I have normal to dry skin so it doesn't look patchy or oily or cakey so let's bring it down so I am going to um wear this for a couple of hours and then I will go ahead and come back with reviews on how it stayed on my face but I do want to let I did want to let you know how it applied so it does look really nice this is a really affordable prices too guys I went and got this at my local Walmart so and it was five five dollars four and change so it is very inexpensive. It's very good on your wallet. Um, so yeah. Tell me what you guys think. I should have done half my face with a brush and half my face with a blender. But I've been obsessing over this brush. It just, I, I loved it. So I've been just using and applying my foundation with the brush. It does give it a full coverage look but um, I do see a little bit of some sheer spots so let's wait for this to dry a little bit and then so I can apply a little more so I'm just waiting for this to dry a little bit and you know what guys it doesn't really seem that sheer um, it does apply very well and once it starts to dry up, it does give you a good result. It actually, I don't really think I need to go back and apply some more. It's actually really good. 
So wet and wild, thumbs up. You guys did really, really good. Tell me what you guys think. Oh, and this is in the color golden beige. I, I The colors on there, they didn't have a very wide selection, but I did try to get the one closest to my color. You probably could make some other colors to get your perfect skin color, but um, I think this one is doing okay for me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and uh, I'll get back to you with that look and then in a couple of hours I'll get back to you again just to show you how it's holding on to my face. Okay guys, so this is the, the whole look. Um, I am liking the foundation for now. Of course I did just apply it. So we're going to wait a couple of hours and then I'll get back to you and tell you how it's holding up. Um, I also did want to mention the lipstick that I have on is also from Wet n Wild. It is... Okay, I lost it among all this junk that I have. Actually, no, I had it. <laughs> Just kidding. It is Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. And is in the color pink really hard. Yes. It reminds me of a Barbie doll pink. Um, So, go and check it out. The only thing I will say about this is that it was a little streaky. And I don't know if it's because of the color. Um, I did have to apply a couple layers on, but it is holding on okay right now. So it's drying up, as you can see. Um, but it was a little streaky and patchy, so I did apply a couple layers. But other than that, it's doing okay for now. I will let you know in a couple of hours just to see how it looks. And you can see for yourself. It is looking okay right now. What do you guys think? Like it? Like it. Lug it a lot. Just kidding, guys. Okay, well, I'll get back to you in a couple of hours so you can see what it looks like. And I will be back. Okay, guys, so um, I'm back home, and the makeup is on my face pretty well. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can see that, or actually get closer. And it's holding on pretty well. Can see all my imperfections so I'm just gonna scoo back okay so I did put the makeup on about noon maybe one ish and it's gonna be six in about half an hour or less so it did do pretty good now I wasn't sweating too much so I can't tell you what the makeup would be under those conditions but I can tell you from being warm and the Sun hitting me that it did last pretty oh pretty good um I don't really have any wrinkles from the squinting of the sun or anything like that, so that's a plus as well. And sometimes, normally, uh, with certain makeups, you will see your fine lines and all of that, your creases. This is doing good. Now, for the lipstick, it's, it's doing okay. My lips do look a little crusty, crusty ass. <sighs> But I did figure out that if you do apply some chapstick or lip primer, you can go ahead and put the lipstick after and then maybe dab on a little bit after you apply the lipstick again. So, and it'll stay on smooth. I did take a bite to eat and um, I tried to apply it on again because I was missing some um, parts of the lipstick. And I'm thinking that's why it does look crusty. <laughs> during the day it did not look like that so I'm hoping for that reason actually I'm hoping that because of that that that's why it looks like this because I went ahead and replied again so maybe in a different shade or maybe you just continue with the lip primer, primer and uh, chapstick that it would be a good turnout so that is it for my review it does look okay and leave your comments below guys don't forget to subscribe and like my channel um it's very important to me so please go ahead and do that and i'll see you soon Mwah. also if you guys are interested in learning how to do the halo look on the eyes comment below and let me know so we can get started on that tutorial um yeah i'll see you guys later bye